We are missing the mark Mm -hmm. when it comes to relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we don't take the time to ask the deeper questions. We just want to be right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we totally want to be right. And we want to surround ourselves with the people who um, are the echo chamber that yes, say yes, exactly people. the same thing that we say. Yes. And yeah. one of the best things we can do is actually um, expose ourselves. That's not the right phrase to use, but <laughs> to <laughs> get in community <laughs> with people who have different beliefs yeah. than um, we do, different um of those preferences, secondary convictions, convictions, convictions yes. different convictions right. um, than, um, than we do because we will start to understand their perspective, where they, how they got to that. Yeah. The more we can talk to them, learn from them, be curious mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. them, curious. then we are more able to understand our, even our own beliefs. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, find common ground and not just come to the conversation with all right i'm i'm right and you're wrong and let me poke holes in all of i'm going to ask mm-hmm. you a question i'm going to be curious i'm going to lean in and then i'm going to just poke holes in everything you just said that is not going to help us mm. you know either we've yeah. got to be curious and then learn from the curiosity that mm-hmm. we've and the things that we've learned why mm-hmm. do you think we stay away from that though cuz it's hard hard you don't have the right words you and don't know what to say we're yeah. scared yeah and we think we have to respond with um our version of an answer uh, an answer yeah. yeah we don't have to respond mm-hmm. all we all we really are called to do is listen to somebody and ask them questions we don't have to have the answer mm-hmm. and then give it to them yeah we in fact we may actually be wrong mm-hmm <laughs> In yeah. some way, in our conviction or in our preference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and they may be right. So if we just are leaning in and being curious without having to have the answer, but that yeah. fear of not knowing the answer, I think, keeps us from having a lot of conversations mm-hmm. with people. Mm-hmm. And nobody I, likes confrontation. No, mm-hmm. that's not fun. But I like what you both talked about was that things happen, things change in relationships. Mm-hmm. It's not it's not one sided. It's not you teaching or me teaching. It's relationship mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. relationships can be messy. Mm. And, and often I, yeah. I don't know of one relationship that hasn't gone through some messiness. Yeah. Like lasting mm-hmm. ones. Yeah. 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 For oh, sure. Meaningful ones. Yeah. You might have a relationship with the clerk that you get the soda from. Right. But actual relationships will always get yep. messy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think. The fear of making a mistake, the fear of saying the wrong thing, the fear of not knowing what to say keeps me out of some relationships with people that I know have some different thoughts than Mm -hmm. I do. I also think the other thing that keeps us um, from having those conversations is our own arrogance. Mm -hmm. That we... We look around and go. Not well, me. I'm not right. arrogant. <laughs> you, you Maybe should, you. Right? <laughs> you should live out your faith the way I live out my faith yeah, because yeah, uh-huh. I'm right. And so our own arrogance and pride get in the way of being able to have those That's real, true. authentic conversations with people. Humble. Yeah. Yeah. Humble. Humility's learning. Definitely. A learner's mm-hmm. mindset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my job is to fix you. Mm-hmm. You know, we come to it, to it with that attitude. Uh-huh. <laughs>